ericmothethmother.com. This is going to be a brief video where I'm going to be talking about the power and the need to observe failed breakouts. We can see here from an hourly perspective, DPW was trying to break out above the prior hourly closing high here. And what happened is that once it failed to break out, you can see that the RSI gave a warning. And what warning is that? We can see that after the failed breakout attempt, the RSI settles down under 61.8. Now I'm going to include some links in the description of the video where I'm going to be talking about this phenomenon. But pretty much to sum it up, what I'm talking about here is whenever you see a breakout attempt that fails, as it did here, and also coupled by the fact that we also see here negative divergence, and more importantly, this negative divergence came with the RSI failing to hold above 61.8. In my own research, what I've come to understand is that this is the worst type of negative divergence, where an attempt to move to new highs corresponds with RSI failing to move above 69.1. This negative divergence can be, and usually, is the cause of a major reversal. Now, we can see in this particular example, stock did come off the breakout attempts here around $6, or maybe let's call it $5.80, before going all the way as low as, let's say, $1.10. And it all began when it failed to break out, and also when the RSI failed to move above 61.8. For more, take a look at the links that I'll be providing in the description of the video. Eric Moore with Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see, S, and so it is. Woo!